most people tend to hate the things that are actually good early on uh, for example many of the most successful people in the world the most people who changed the world the most were hated before they were loved on the contrary most people tend to love those that are bad for them um, you know obviously they don't deserve at any time to be loved but but quite too early uh, are quick to love them uh, for example people like Bernie Madoff who scammed the US public of over 50 billion dollars any simple fact check would show that this guy was a scam but everybody loved him so why would you even doubt so almost always uh, by the way this is also perfectly uh, um, uh, aligns with uh, stock trading as well when the public thinks that a stock is about to go up or that it's hot it's usually a sign that it's going to crash when the public thinks it's going to crash it's usually a sign that it's going to go up Warren Buffett says that when people are scared you should be brave when people are brave you should be scared so everything is upside down in our uh, society and so many things that I've experienced so many good things I've done so many good investments so many people I knew so many decisions I made were almost exclusively against what was uh, considered normal sensible in any way encouraged either by my friends or by everyone I knew or by the general public you know as a whole so in these days when I see something gets that's getting a lot of hate like everybody fucking wants to destroy it my first assumption is that this thing quite possibly could be the very best thing I've ever encountered in my life because if you noticed in life, things that are good, inherently good, they usually, they, it's usually very clear that they're good. And the more good they are, usually the more hated they are at the beginning. On the contrary, you also see that things that people appreciate and love the most, think TV, newspaper, comfort, uh, you know, you probably have your own list of, uh, of stuff, but, uh, but, but everything that is appreciated is usually the opposite. So most of my life was just a process of reversing things. Everybody's like, okay, go get a job, go get a degree. So I'm like, okay, so if everybody's pointing this way, I'm going to go that way. So I didn't get a degree. I didn't get a job. I barely, if, if if at all finished school and I just went and became independent I got a really good job by the way I got a, a job heading uh, uh, basically managing over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in annual budgets on Facebook just running Facebook campaigns for a huge company in Israel uh, without any degrees <laughs> uh, but after I did that uh, I was like, okay, let's go be independent. Uh, fuck, I don't like this this path. Um, anything that people told me, you know, uh, don't don't approach women. Approaching women is bad. Well, that's apparently how I met the most amazing women in my life. Um, you know, don't uh, waste your money. Don't invest it on on this guy or this guy and I'm like well that's the best investments I've ever made <laughs> so uh, you know um, meat is good eat meat eat dairy you know stuff like that well I became a vegan obviously not in spite not in, in the for these purposes but but just goes to show you like everything is upside down and I actually just posted a quote by Thomas Jefferson today in my Instagram account, which by the way you should follow, it's really good. I upload three times a day, and he he says, 
uh, that the guy, the person who doesn't read the newspaper is more educated. Uh, if somebody doesn't read anything, he's more educated than the guy who reads only the newspaper. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a, that's a smart guy. <laughs> so, so my, my conclusion is that anytime you see something that gets a, a lot of fucking hate and everybody's criticizing it, trying to br bring it down, everybody's like, oh, it's a scam. It's a fraud and, and everybody's trying. For example, Ty Lopez, you know, everybody's like, you know, is he a scam? Is he a scam artist? Is he trying to fuck you over? You know, th dude, this is a great fucking guy. And, and, and they're not even talking about his high end programs or the fact that he posts content every day or the fact that he made like 67 videos that are each like an hour long heavily researched and you can fully get a refund no but he's a scam because <laughs> because he might charge you a like a monthly fee that you can cancel anyway <laughs> so yeah uh and you know they're like oh like does he does he rent his his uh hollywood mansion oh yes and the lamborghini it's right so it has to be a rental and then he goes and buys like a rolls royce uh um the Ferrari and um, and a Maserati on top of it and and it's like okay so let's say he does rent it so so <laughs> dude it costs like 20,000 grand to, to rent that shit like like that already puts him in a pretty cool place <laughs> so so yeah he got bashed and Grant Cardone gets bashed a lot you know, and uh, uh, again, I know this is going to be kind of controversial, but Scientology gets bashed a lot. S the, the, the shit that, that's like the most helpful in this universe, you know, the, the best opinions are always kept silent. So whenever you see somebody, like something that's socially acceptable to criticize, like if, if it's socially acceptable, to criticize something or to find understand why it's a fraud or something whenever that's socially acceptable it means that this is probably where you want to go because you don't want to be where the masses are at trust me that that's like the worst possible place you could want to be <laughs> so and once the actually once the opinions kind of um, um, flip it's a bit too late it's too late for that because you know once everybody was like oh yeah Bernie Madoff like once that shit hits the news you know it's too late because because now everybody already got fucked over so it's politically correct to talk about it so I hope this video helps and make, makes a lot of sense to you it helps you kind of uh, make better life decisions um, again go against the flow the more people the more something is uh, socially acceptable the less value it usually has the the less socially acceptable the more value it probably has this doesn't mean that you need to go into some fringe society weird shit it just means that if you have paid attention to something if something has piqued your interest then reverse the equation instead of asking yourself okay what does the general public think about this ask yourself um the opposite like like why would they resist it so much like why are people so hating on it and it, for example if you see a book that looks uh, really good um i don't look on the re at the reviews ever if the book looks good to me i mean i might do like a quick quick uh check in on the reviews but mostly if uh, if I see the reviews and they're bad then it just means there might be something there like the, the more the reviews are like oh this book is fucking horrible I fucking hate it like and the reason for that is because if somebody hates on something it means it's got it got it it, it has gotten this person its attention so you won't hate on something that just sucks. 
You hit on something that sucks and made you emotionally respond. So always ask yourself, like, why did that person respond like that? Like so intensely related to this organization or book or person? Usually it's because that person is like talking about bettering yourself or presents an idea of how to improve your life. And this person sort of gave up on this area. So anything like the more straightforward, the more effective it is, the 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 teaching, so-called teaching, um, the more that person will like really get you know fucking pissed. Because because if if you're right, if you're honest. Oh my god, like it means that guy needs that guy needs to change his fucking life and he's too scared to do that. So he'd rather hate. So again, also pay attention to the amount of hate. Like why is this getting so much hatred? Why are people paying this much emotional attention? Why are they investing so much in this? If it was just bad, nobody would look at it. Why are people looking at it? What do the people that look at it say? You know, some people might talk about something like, oh, they, these are the fanboys, or it's a cult, or, you know, they, they basically demean the people that are in there. People who like Ty Lopez are idiots, or people who, you know, are in Scientology, it's, it's, they're the part of a cult. So it's easy words to kind of group people into one category so that you don't have to take responsibility to actually explain why they're there. So you basically lower their, their intelligence, like, yeah, these guys are stupid, and that's why they're there. Um, but that's, that's really showing what you think of human society in general, because with all due respect, the masses are usually stupid. When there's the majority of people are somewhere that's usually the place that's dumb that you don't want to be at but when a, a select group of people i'm not talking about 10 people i'm talking about like thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people are are into something then there might be something there because you're part of the one percent too you're part of the special group of people who are actually developing themselves if you've gotten this far. So where you see groups of people that are like thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, small groups that the masses are hating, these kinds of groups could actually be the embodiment of what you need, what you're looking for. So be in the fringes, be in the sides of society. That's good. <laughs> That's good because that's where you're going to get the, the juice, the information from the people who are like you. Because you're definitely not going to get it from TV. Hope this video helps. Uh, if you haven't checked out Ty Lopez or don't know who he is, which is weirdly odd, uh, definitely check him out. Really, really cool guy. Uh, regarding my comments about Scientology, they have uh, these, uh, it's called a basic course. It costs like uh, $40, $30. You can basically go, if you have like a local Scientology thing, you can go there. And they basically teach you, they give you like these life-changing courses that you actually study yourself for like $30, $40 that teach you about communication, how to go through ups and downs in life, uh, they, they teach you how to avoid negative people, just extremely like um, logical and um, formula stuff. Like, like if somebody is negative, do this and this and this. If uh, your life isn't the way you want it to be, do this and this. This is how you develop ethics. So I really love that. Like I haven't really done anything deeper than that, but uh, just, just, just for that, I mean, dude, that, that shit cost me like I think $200 for like five of these courses dude changed my life <laughs> like changed my fucking life honestly because I actually took them in the worst time of my life and like they helped me a shit ton so 
you know, I can't really say anything about, you know, anything deeper than that. But uh, I can say about what I have experienced. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to tell me. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching in.